everyone. Thank you for coming to the tutorial on how to paint with baking soda. So this is a pretty fun and messy activity. Um, and it involves some very simple things. So first we need some baking soda. And you wanna put it, you wanna get some little containers where you can put it inside. A little shallow dishes probably work the best. Um, Cause you need to have a different container for each color that you want. Some liquid watercolor. If you don't have liquid watercolor, that's okay. You can always use liquid food coloring as well. It just needs to be in liquid form. And then some vinegar, some regular vinegar that you, white vinegar that you buy at the store, distilled. And a little bit of water as well. So I have a heavy piece of paper here. I use watercolor paper because it helps absorb the water a little bit. Um, and it will be really good for when you're using all these heavy things on it. So you want a nice good paintbrush and also an eyedropper or pipette. So the first thing you want to do is make a paste out of your, for your color here. So I'm just going to choose a little bit of baking soda at a time. If you need to add more, you can always add more or less depending on what you're going for. So I'm just going to start by choosing one color and I'm going to pour it in here and I want to make a little bit of a paste. So if you don't want to use your paintbrush, you might want to use something like a, a stick or something like that. But you want to use a paste. You want to make it like a little paste, but you want to make it thin enough that you can paint with. So I have, it's a it looks like kind of like this, but it looks like it's light enough that I can maybe paint with it. So let's give this a shot. And again, you wanna do this for every color that you use, but I'm just going to demonstrate with one color. So I am going to just start painting on my paper. Just gonna do some fun swirly gigs here. Remember, like the more with this, because it has the baking soda in it, you want it to kind of be um, you want to make sure your lines are thick so you can go through like this and add some more. Really get it on there. I'm going to cover all my paper here, a little bit over here. I use up all of my paste that I've got here. Maybe a little bit in the corner, a little bit more over here. And then comes the fun part. So you want to take a pipette or an eyedropper and get some vinegar in there and start dropping it on your on your area here on your paint where you have all of the um, baking soda and you can see it'll start bubbling up a little bit there where you've got your baking soda so it's going to make a mess of course so if you want you can do this on a tray so that it doesn't run all over everywhere but it's kind of fun to see the chemical reaction. You know, the more, the more baking soda you have, the more of a reaction that you'll get. So this is more of like a process art. It, it's not really about the journey or the destination, it's about the journey. So you don't have to worry about what it's gonna look like when you're all done. And see, it's kind of flowing all over the place and that's okay. That's kind of like what we like we're just doing this for fun, but they do end up becoming really cool looking pictures when you're all finished. So just go ahead and just do that and have fun. And if you want to choose different, different colors, just mix, make your mixture with different colors um, and make sure that you have a good amount of baking soda for each color.